And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Bravely Default. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and it's off to correct the crystals we go. So, again, like I said, you're, you, there's actually something you could do at every crystal that can fast-forward you to endgame. Um, but then again, you lose some story, you lose some benefits of doing that, and we're not going to do that. I could have done it, I'm not going to do it, because I'm going to do something slightly different instead. I've got a plan. It's not a good plan, but it's a plan. So, yay. <clears throat> and again, there's nothing to really steal from these crystal guardians, Look, so... This crystal has also reverted. Wait, something lurks nearby. And we're getting a lot of dialogue repetition here. Here they come! Alright, and we will, hmm. Alright, I got... Divine Light. No, you know what, we'll save that, actually. We will blast him with... Holy. Here's some Bolt. And we'll go with... Lizaga and let her attack. Mm -mm -mm. No, we'll have her attack the same one. No, you know what? I don't trust myself. Let's go with her going after the other hell. Don't fall for me now. Herself. Should have lots of HP, so and be a little stronger than last time. God, she's got a blizzard sword. Whoops. Talk about a screw up there. None that we can't handle. Oh, Hellfire. So if you're using the vampire skill, you can clearly learn that and the free or frozen multi-target attack from, from this boss if you really care about that stuff. You might. Do we can convert to Zover when he gets a turn. to really do anything. So we can do that. And that should cover us all. And he's down on the ground. As we kill him like the rest... Sure you have. 
have the hang of it, but if there's anything you'd like to go over again, just ask. Time to get started. Right, we don't care about this dialogue. It's the same shit. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Well done, Anyas. The wind crystal has been awakened. Are you all right, Anyas? You ought to rest for now. <sighs> yes. Thank you. All right, Aruni. I if it will work this time. I hate not knowing if we're even doing the right thing. Ring a bell. My head. It feels like it's about to. Uh -oh. His head's gonna explode. Ring a bell. Ringle dingle dong ding. No. No. I told you. This would. Ring a bell. Ring a bell. Can you hear me? <gasps> Are you all right? You just collapsed out of nowhere. Are you not feeling well? I... I... I was frozen in fear. I failed. Failed to protect you. Huh? Hmm. I sent the plot of foot. Alright, let's head out of here. Let's get out of here. Poor ring a bell. Poor ring a ding a dong ding. Clearly, he knows there's something up. We could kind of see into that a little bit. Um, we'll head into the, the ship. We'll just go right over here to heal. Because, you know, it wouldn't hurt. Let's so hit up the inn. Tastes like healing. Yeah. Make a save, because again, saving's your friend. And we're off. And we're off. All right, to the water crystal. Thing's not gonna cure itself. I go kick some water elemental butt. That's really what it is. I mean, come on. Look, this crystal has also reverted. Wait, something lurks nearby. Another creature back from destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all, again, it's just all on repeat at this point. Let's go ahead and Mandaga. Open up with one holy. Open up with piercing bolt. No holding back. Uh, 
And we put stop on him. Let's do this. to go all out. Even with the magic boost, it doesn't do that much more damage. Victory. Fatality. <laughs> Hurry up and awaken the crystal before we are beset by more beasts. Of course. I'm ready, Airy. I'm sure you have the hang of it. But if there's anything you'd like to go over again, just ask. Durr. Uh, don't need the explanation. Yes. Do, Wait. Do, do. Can I ask you something, Airy? Now? We're about to start the Rate of Awakening. But what would happen if she continued to pray to the crystal even after you told her to... stop? How many times do I have to explain it? Haven't you been listening? The crystal would be destroyed if she didn't stop. And what happens if it's destroyed? What? That would be terrible! Mankind would no longer receive its blessings! Well, why can't we just do without its blessings wouldn't we get used to it it's not a matter of getting used to it i mean without the crystals we couldn't rid the world of darkness it hasn't worked in two tries so far i know but that's not the issue here besides if the crystals were destroyed um uh the wind! It would cease forever, and fire would rage out of control! Water would turn putrid, and the earth would dry up! I see. Sorry for interrupting. <sighs> All right, hon, yes. Let's try that again. Not sure if I'm convinced that Airy is being honest with us. Is being straight arrowed with us. As far as it goes, eh. but we're gonna keep doing as she says for now. For now. Not yet. Just a little longer. <gasps> More. Keep going. That makes you wonder, because isn't the corruption of the crystal what's causing the water to be unpure, right? So if we destroy the crystal, we purify the water once and for all, but it would never be able to be corrupted again, maybe? Ooh, and it makes you wonder. Then, it isn't a cure to rid the world. Of darkness. What the hell? Ring a bell. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, yes. Sorry about that. You sounded as though you were in terrible pain. No need to worry about me. I'm fine. I've been wondering about something, Ringabel. Since we came to this world, I haven't snapped at you to stop talking once. <sighs> it was every third word from my mouth before. I... 
I... Um, you okay? Harry's temper. Ring a bell. Could I have a word with you? I can't have you doing that again. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, you mean asking questions before the Rite of Awakening? That's right. I need to focus before I begin. But how can I when you're suddenly when you suddenly upset me like that? I upset you? I was merely asking what would happen if the crystal was destroyed. Or was it when I asked why we can't do without its blessings? Or was it when I said we had failed to rid the world of darkness two times already? Did that strike a nerve? To strike a nerve? What are you talking about? What nerve could you, that have possibly struck? See, you're just plain rude and annoying to boot. All right, all right already. You don't have to shout. I hear you loud and clear. You're not exactly helping my headache. And truth be told, Agnes is the one who really needs to concentrate during the right. Not you, Airy. Huh. You sure have a big mouth. Hey, I'm not done with you yet. You get back here, ring a bell. Harry's becoming a little prick. I mean, I agree with Ring a Bell. There's nothing wrong with asking questions to things you don't know the answer to. So, and yeah, I do agree with that sentiment from what he pointed out too, is that uh, we've never seen Aerie concentrate for shit except when we're on the boat in the Pillar of Light. So, kind of a weird sentiment for, you know, Aerie to be all in a huff, in a huff over it, over it. Oh well. I guess we'll just let it go. For now. Let's go ahead and heal up. Don't want to burn through my ethers. Um, and then we'll go to the fire uh, crystal, but we're also going to pick up two treasures along the way. Mm, tastes like healing. What is this? To each his own. Let's take a coffee break, everyone. Here you go, ring a bell. Strong and black. Thanks. For you, tis weak with milk and two lumps of sugar. Thank you. And for you, Anya's tea. Still not used to coffee. Thank you. Coffee makes my head go all fuzzy. I hope you will forgive me, Adia, making you go through the extra trouble like this. Ahaha. <laughs> it's not your fault. After all, you'll ne- you never even tried coffee until you left the temple. Blech. This isn't black. You're sure... Th you sure this isn't Tiz's? Really? And whose is this? Ugh, it's way too sweet. It must be yours, Adia. Who puts this much sugar in their coffee anyways? It's a grainy slush at the bottom. And this must be ring a bells. Ugh, that's awfully bitter. Well, Anya's, at least you're not the only one making me go through extra trouble. Ha 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 ha. Ba-da ba da bum ba Another episode of wasting time with Adia. Not really. I mean... You know, those cute little scenes are always kind of fun to break up the monotony. Add a little more character depth. But could one say it's too little too late? Or just too much in general and now it's just burnt. You're just burnt out. It's one of the few cases I, I'm going to make them once we beat this game. Um, <laughs> it, there, there, there is something, there are some things to be said about it that are very interesting. Uh, as we yet again have to make our way through the dungeon. Even the developers knew that we needed to turn off encounters. And I believe in the original Japanese version, you couldn't do that. There's the Genji Gloves. Again, an accessory we probably don't care that much about. We don't really need that anymore. Because all we, we're maxing out like what we're getting, so... Give her the Genji Gloves. Because, like I said, it's gear-wise, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have the growth egg on. Every boss fight is maximum job points, so... 
you can only get 99 job 999 job points of battle the game doesn't so far that i've ever noticed from my playing this you you never get more than 999 jp so if you're always getting 999 jp there's no reason whatsoever to um <laughs> to uh keep the growth egg on if you're just if you've already maxed out most of your jobs and you're just going and fighting the side bosses and you're going and you're dealing with the uh the water the, the various crystals and their bosses there's a genji helm again we have the Heike helm so this isn't going to really be better as you can see that it is not and it has no special effects so again I'm at a mild not a mild loss i just it's just is it really worth it is really kind of up to you i don't think it's that bad to get some of this gear but that way you guys can see what's in these chests yourselves and weigh weigh those options because ultimately whether you're playing on a pc emulation or you're playing on your ds your 3ds the idea is that you could just legitimately sit your 3ds to the side and wait for Narendra to just finish um Though they shut the servers down, is my understanding, so you can't even do that on the 3DS. So, inherently, is this is a broken game <laughs> on its original console that you can't really play it properly. So that's kind of why I'm just showing you guys the story, which I think is fine, because there's actually a sequel. There's two sequels to this. One of them also suffering from similar issues, but we're not going to go into the big details about that. Um... Uh, Eventually, we'll do Bravely Second. You don't have to do Bravely Second if you're trying to do getting into Bravely Default 2, I believe. I have actually not pra Look, played Bravely Default 2 yet, so I will be pro I probably will be streaming it as a new Wait, game. Something looks nearby. Another creature back from destruction. Here they come. Here they come. Oh my. So we can't really attack it yet, so let's just buff ourselves as we do. May as well let him just sit. Oh, you know what? He could put out a poison every once in a while. Ability, Sandaga. Actually, what I could do. I don't even worry about poison right now. We default. We keep defaulting. We make them be able to do two two grouping attack groupings in a row here. We'll actually keep that attack. I, th I say. And... Well, we could just wail on him for two rounds. gets to go before him will be fine you could die in this fight if he gets a turn but we won't allow that to happen clearly but yeah it could get a little more complicated if you're not careful you're reflecting for our trouble yeah. hurry up and awaken the crystal before we are beset by more beasts of course the hang of it, but if there's anything you'd like to go over again, just ask.
No need to explanation. Get started, Anya. Are you ready? Yes. Let Not really. Wait. May I ask you something, Agnes? More questions? What are the crystals? Are they really born of the Vestals? Now's not the time for a lesson on crystal lore. I've never heard the full story either. I'd like to know. Let's save it for after we awaken. The crystals are not born of the Vestals, nor are they creations of the Orthodoxy. They existed long before human civilization arose. They turn hopes and prayers into energy that builds up within them. The Vestals, then. Yes, I know that part. Ring a bell? You have that I'm in pain look again. If the crystals thrive by storing the prayers of the faithful, what were they before they were objects of worship? I cannot say. The scriptures say not of such a time. Do you know, Airy? The crystals have always been crystals. It's simply a matter of more and more people worshipping them. The Templars spoke on this. The crystals should be overseen by one who looks out for the good of the people, he said. Not some power-hungry cult that has rotted to its <laughs> core. What exactly did he mean by that? Huh? What's he talking about? Someone care to fill me in? I fear I do not understand either. No, it's... Never mind. Apologies for interrupting. Alright, one other crystal down. Nearly. Keep saying that, but stop! That's it. And there it is. I'm sorry. F forgive me. Sorry. <coughs> she lives, but I failed to protect her. <coughs> no. Can you hear me? Ring a bell! Ring a bell! <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone, I... I couldn't. Forgive me. Feeling better, ring a bell? Tis, I... I remember every now we might get some answers. I mean, we mostly have pieced a lot of this together. I mean, come on. Who are they trying to fool? So sure, but at least it all makes sense now. Will you tell me? I am indeed Alternus Dim, the Dark Knight. I spoke before of my suspicions that we'd been transported to a parallel world. 
I've been seeing more and more glimpses of the past these last few days. I remember crossing swords with you, Agnes and Idia, any number of times. And I've witnessed firsthand your death at the hands of a horrible creature. And it wasn't simply a dream? No. A memory from a parallel world, most likely. Do you remember when we first met in Caldisla? Uh, yes. In the world before last. And what did the pattern on Ares' wings look like then? It looks like the number three now, but in the previous world, it was a four. Now that you mention it, how about the world before last? It was a five. I recall it clearly. It's... decreasing? In my memory of you three getting killed, the pattern looked like the number six. And that means... In short, I'm the Dark Knight from the world before your own. I see. The pieces are starting to fall into place. I don't want to believe it, but I think Eri really is... She's... I could only watch it happen. I couldn't do a thing. Hmm. Ring a bell. I have a favor to ask, Tiz. Please tell Agnes what I just revealed to you. Sometime, someplace where Eri isn't around. Will you do this for me? All right. Of course. Then you'll believe me? Hmm. And it makes me wonder. Ooh, and it makes me wonder. It does, actually. Not gonna lie. Final temple. Listen, why don't we go speak with the sage first? The sage? Whatever for? Sounds like a good idea. To the sages. Um, what? Okay. Ideas Parfait Binge. Where is Ringabell? He's up on the deck with Tiz. Something about having a man to man talk. I see Ringabell has been acting strangely of late, has he not? <laughs> I suppose so. Yes, yes, he has. Mm -hmm. I wonder if something is wrong. Perhaps he remembers some unpleasant event from his past. Unpleasant event from his past? Is that why he's been giving me a hard time? Well, I won't stand for it. If he gets in our way again, we should kick him off the ship. Stop it, Aerie. I don't see why you're making such a fuss. We're talking about one of our comrades, someone who's lost his memory and nearly his sanity, too. Surely you could forgive such a minor thing as this. Adio, where are you going? What are you doing? To, oh, to see the proprietist. I'll be drowning my sorrows in parfaits tonight, and don't try to stop me. I can't believe it. Did you hear that, Agnes? Adia was so mean. Was she? Was she? Eri, maybe you're being a little bitch. Let me take those wings and maybe cut them off you. Oh, was that a little too harsh? Hmm. Let's keep moving. I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear. And who might you be? I am Agnes Oblige, Vessel of the Wind. Vestal of the Breaking of the Wind. Ho oh, ho! Little Agnes, is it? My. How you have grown, child. 
You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you. A fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. <laughs> Why the long face? If there is anything this feeble old man can do for you, name it. Sage. Do you remember me at all? Hmm? <laughs> <sighs> well, you'd better come inside. Now then, I was about to pour some tea for us. But I fear this may not be the time for sitting quietly with a hot brew. All sounds familiar, doesn't it? Sage. Let me ask you this. If I bade you come with just one other, would you know why? Yes. Well, this is quite astonishing. To think such events were even possible. Very well, then. I will spare you the details and keep this simple. You must decide who is your most trustworthy ally. Then travel to the nearby cave with them. You will find it to the southwest of here. I shall go on ahead. I would advise you to heed my words. You must bring only one ally with you. Your other companion should wait outside the cave. I shall see you soon. No. All right, out we go. Strangely enough, we don't need to walk. We know we can fly there, technically. And thus, we will. Like, overshoot it. can understand. Go on, get going already. We'll be back soon. Give the master my regards. All right, let's do this again. seem to get a break. guys I'm sorry it's it's just it, it, there is a weakness to this game and it is very glaring now there are people who excuse it and that's fine that's kind of what we're like I said there's gonna be a bit of a discussion about this game once we get to end game but you'll see what I mean in due course of course but we've got some ways to go before we gotta worry about that anyway
There you are. Ah, so this is the one you have chosen. I envy him. You make a fine pair. <laughs> Were I a thousand eight hundred and eighty years young? You're not ready to lay down and die yet. We know. Do you? And I'm the very image of the angel you encountered one thousand eight hundred eighty years ago. Oh, I see. I've already spoken of such matters, have I? Tell me, why have you two come to me again? I wanted to be alone with Agnes. What? Oh, you little devil, you! Yeah, always with the porn, okay? Uh, no! I didn't mean it like that! At least in the way I think you're thinking! Tis, was it? I thought you a lost cause, but it seems you some fire inside you. <laughs> Look, she's blushing. Put the girl out of her misery with a big kiss on the lips. Please, I'm trying to be serious here. Tis. No, I'm telling you, I really didn't mean it like that. Then what did you mean? Ringabel regained his memory, and not just part of it this time. He did? When was this? Just a short time ago. I'm the only one he's told so far. But he wanted me to tell you something in private. Something he remembered. In private? I did not think Ringabel to be the sort of man to mistrust his comrades. I believe he had his reasons. But what could he possibly remember that would warrant such secrecy? Before we get to that, I'd like to ask the sage about that angel he encountered. Of course. I will tell all that I know. Maybe now we'll get an explanation. Did the angel mention anything to you other than the crystals? Other than the crystals? Hmm. Yes, I believe her words were, I was deceived by the evil one. Her voice was heavy with regret. The evil one? This evil one used deceit to drive the four crystals out of control. That tore the barrier between worlds, she said, opening a way to the world beyond. <gasps> no! <sighs> and was this a hypothetical future she saw? No. The angel and her two comrades had stood before that evil in battle that day. It was after her allies were slain that the creature boasted of what it would do. She spoke to me with lifeless eyes, drowned in tears. Uh, what then? As the angel faded before my eyes, she said to me, Deliver unto me this pendant when next I return to you. And should I appear before you with the evil one, hesitate not to do what you must to us. You speak of this pendant. And was this evil one the angel spoke of? with us when we first came to you? Yes, I dare say so. Then... I could not do it. 
I could not, knowing I would have to slay you, Vestal, precious girl. I see. Then, to remove all doubt from the matter, I ask you now, this evil one, I wish to hear no more. Agnes. I cannot bear to hear of matters so dreadful. For if what you say is true, then I... Forgive me. I never wish to put you in this position. But I cannot believe Ringabel would lie to me. Not about something like this. That's why. You trust Ringabel then? I do. I trust Ringabel. Along with Idea. And you too, Agnes. I trust you all. Very well. Then I shall trust in him too. Thank you. We ought to be returning to the others now, Sage. You be careful now. Ah, and before you go, there is another matter. One Lord De Rosso and I have studied this last millennium. War story. Were you aware that should a crystal be destroyed, it will eventually regenerate? What? Truly? So long as its core remains, it can grow once more through the power of mortal hopes and dreams. It's kind of like what I said earlier. The of thousands of years will see it grow to its original size and power. And this crystalline core you speak of? You need look no further than the pendant about your neck, my dear. What? This stone? <laughs> a rather fine gift, wouldn't you say? I'm so delighted to see you kept it safe. Sage. Now, I must leave you, but not without a word of advice. Have the courage to think and act on your own. And have the courage to disobey. The more you know, so clearly this shit has hit the fan with like what we know to be true versus or what we can perceive to be true. But we'll Not see how it plays that. out, won't we? Thank you. That old fart hasn't filled your head with strange thoughts, has he, Anyas? Uh, Airy, you... You needn't worry about me. He did me no harm. But I'm a Chris fairy, bound body and soul to the Vestals. Of course I worry. And yet, you've been pushing me away lately. Christvary or not, you've no right to interfere in another's love. What? Wait, what? Uh, hang on! What? So, Tis, how was it? Uh, uh, fine. Uh, couldn't have gone better. Couldn't have gone... What's going on between you two? Come on, Anya, out with it! Do they really care about what finagling they were doing down there? Really? <laughs> say no more, Tiz. No, do say more. 
What's going on here? Yes, inquiring minds want to know. Unless and tis, are you two really? No, that's not. Yes, that's exactly it. Isn't it, Agnes? We mustn't encourage them, Tiz. <laughs> this is great. Been some time since we've had any good news. And take with that what you will. Really take with that what you will. Now, there is a lot of side quests showing up, but strangely enough, there's a different side quest that just popped up. Hmm, and it makes me wonder. And with that said, we're going to continue to wonder, at least till the next episode. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash XR Studios for more live gaming action. Because when we come back, when we come back, we will uh, be unlocking the last real side quest of the game that's legitimate versus the nonsense that we've been doing prior. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you guys next time.